Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We are from the Aflatoxin in Peanut Butter. We present about our task 6, which is step 10 and step 11. So, my name is Noor and Akina Binti Zakaria and my partner is Farah Azina Binti Faizal. So, this is our step 8, which is to determine the CCP. So, this is our process, which is receiving of the shell peanut hand sorting using photoelectric scanner, roasting, cooling, munching, grinding, and packing. So, throughout this process, we have found out some CCP, which is receiving of the shell peanut, hand sorting, roasting, grinding, and packing. So, I will present about step 10, which is establish so, our first CTP is receiving of the shell peanut, but the significant hazard found is the pesticide residue. The, for the critical limit, peperonyl butoxide is the most common pesticide found in the peanut. So, the MRL, which is maximum residue limit, is 1 mg per kg. For the monitor, we have to ensure that the pesticide residues are below the limit, how we have to done uh, rapid testing for every batch and this will be assisted by lab personnel and purchasing and receiving supervisor. So for the second CCP is hand sorting, scanning using photoelectric. The significant hazard found is the mold infestation and the critical limit is to remain less than 5% of unacceptable pods. For the monitoring system, for what? It is to remove unacceptable, discolored and more infected pods to avoid damage spreading to other healthy pods and to avoid contamination from hand to peanut. How? By visual inspection, which is we have to observe whether the pods is defects or not, and then by practicing personal hygiene such as using loop. The frequency is to do for every batch. The PIC for this monitoring system is the line juice inspector and hygiene and sanitation supervisor. So for the third CCP is frosting, and the significant hazards found are salmonella and aflatoxin. The critical limit for salmonella is to roast the peanut with air temperatures to about 150 degrees Celsius and to reduce the water activity to below 0.65, which is 0.65 is the minimum water activity for mold to grow. And then for the critical limit of aflatoxin, uh, we need to heat for 120 minutes at 150 degrees Celsius and heat until moisture level below 7%. Why below 7%? Because aflatoxin is favorable to grow at the moisture level above 7%. So for the monitoring, what is to uh, monitor the roster? How? By controlling the temperature and time using online thermometer and also for the every batch, I will be assisted by line juice inspector and technician. Next is grinding. The significant hazard found during grinding is chunk of peanut and other ingredients. For the critical limits, is to make sure that the time and speed are constant for each batch to make sure that all peanuts are used. Grinded. So, what we have to monitor is grinder. How? By setting the grinder at constant time and speed, and also for the every batch, uh, the PIC is line juice inspector. And last CCP is packaging, which the significant hazard found is oxygen. So, the critical limit is oxygen must be excluded during packaging. For the monitoring, 
what is to eliminate of oxygen during packaging? How? By vacuum pack and sealing of the peanut butter for every batch. And this monitoring system will be assessed by line duty inspector and packaging supervisor. So we will proceed with step 11. That is to establish corrective action for any deviation that occurs. So let's proceed with our first critical control point, which is the receiving of the shell peanuts from farm. So Erna has explained the monitoring system for this CCP. So I will be explaining on the corrective actions that we should take if the critical limits are exceeded. So in this case, the critical limits are pesticide and we chose uh, peperonium butoxide with the maximum residue limit is only 1 milligram per kilogram so if the critical limits are exceeded we should stop the production and inform the farm personnel that this this batch of peanuts ha has exceeded the maximum residue limit set by the food law and we should discard the whole batch because we shouldn't use peanuts that has high level of pesticide residues our next ccp is hand sorting this is significant because the mold infestation could lead to the accumulation of aflatoxin in the peanuts so we should only um, accept only less than five percent of unacceptable pots because these mold infestation they are recognized but as discolored pots so we are using photoelectric scanner to scan the peanuts. If there are more than 5% of unacceptable pots, we should stop the production, inform technician about it, and conduct machinery fault diagnosis. So, other things that we can do are we can repeat the process and maybe slow down the conveyor speed when they are undergoing the, when they are going through the photoelectric scanner so that there, sh there are less than 5% of unacceptable pots. Our third critical control point is roasting and the, the significant hazards that are involved in this critical control point are salmonella and aflatoxin. So there are critical limits that we should achieve and should not be exceeded so that our product is safe to be consumed and the corrective actions that we should take if things go wrong are we should stop the production immediately and inform the technician to check temperature of machine and thermometer and we should also conduct machinery fault diagnosis because we control the temperature through the roaster. So let's say if heating is not achieved for as 120 minutes at 150 degrees Celsius, it could pose a risk of aflatoxin and therefore could be fatal to our customers. Our next critical control point is grinding. This is because we want to achieve a smooth peanut butter spread. So if the grinder is not working properly, we should inform the technician about it and conduct machinery fault diagnosis. Also recheck the machinery settings um, which involve the speed and time of the grinder. And if there are no problem with the machine, maybe we should prolong the grinding time until uniformity is achieved. Our last critical control point is packaging and the, the significant hazard that is involved in this critical control point is oxygen. This is because the inclusion of oxygen in our package product can lead to lipid oxidation of the peanut butter spread. So the corrective actions that we should take is we should stop the packaging process and inform the technician about it. We should also conduct machinery fault diagnosis because um, this process, the filling process of the uh, packaging process uses machine. So it's important to make sure that the machine is working properly. So once we stop the production, we should check the sealing of each finished product. This is because we want to make sure that every product is properly sealed so that there won't be any inclusion 
possible inclusion of oxygen gas into the packaging and because it will affect the peanut butter spread.